So traders, the mining sector right now is indeed having a, a real big drop, right? Big drop in the mining sector today um, across all markets. And if you listen to my market update, I did an update yesterday on YouTube and I talked about how that I believe that if you're for short term traders, I believe we're going to get a, a short term correction out of the mining sector coming soon. Now, I didn't, I didn't know it was going to be today, right? Uh, but I was saying that very, very, very soon, we're probably likely to start to see a bit of a correction out of these markets here. And so one thing I'm looking at with these markets right now, guys, and one thing I'm seeing right now is we've got a very big drop down in the mining sector today. So the GDX was down almost 4%, and the GDXJ was down 4% as well too. Um, and the SILJ, we've got um, down 3% as well too. And then also the SIL down 3%. So a very big drop in the overall mining sector today. But this is good news, right? Big drop in the mining sector, big drop, and this is good news. And let me explain the reasons why. When we're looking at the markets, right, what we wanna see is we wanna actually start to see things start to form a trend in place. We don't wanna see things just base out and then go for a big move, right? And what I mean by that is this, is that if I just look at the SIO as, a, as, a, as an example here, okay? If I look at the SIO as an example, and we start to see that we did nothing through here, right? Big did, did nothing through here, and then we actually what? Then we basically started to see a very big move up. What we want to see for a nice, healthy bull market, especially for us that are very interested in the mining sector, for us to be, for this to be a nice, healthy bull market for that to be, for, for that to come, what we're looking for is we're looking for the, we're looking for um, the, the market to create a good trend in place. Now, what is a good trend in place? A good trend is what? Higher lows and higher highs. So if that's the case, up, higher low, higher low. All right, we 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 know that's a that's a that's called an upward trend, right? We know that. Um, and if you don't, there you go. Higher lows is what's an upward trend. But a higher low, what does that actually mean, though? What does what does that actually even mean? Like, okay, a, a, a strong upward trend. A strong upward trend means higher lows. That means we're going to get these periods where we're having a bit of a short-term drop but the overall movement to the upside. This is where, for me guys, trading with the trend, because what you'll find is these moves through here, here and here are much more higher probability. And also that's where the bigger moves are made, right? That's where trading with the trend comes involved with it. So the reason why I'm bringing this up here is because I'm actually expecting one of these doobalaki things, right? <laughs> doobalaki things. So one of these things out of the mining sector. And so out of all the mining sector right now, we're seeing that we're getting a really nice drop out of the mining sector. Um, and I, this to me, this is very, very, very healthy because when we start to look at say the weekly charts, the big time frame. and by the way, traders, if you are trading the daily charts, always, always, always be looking at the weekly charts. And what I'm looking for on the weekly charts is just trend analysis. Who's in control, right? Um, are we making lower highs? Are we not making lower highs? Are we just going sideways? Could there be a trend change warning, right? So what is a trend change warning? A trend change warning is this. Is, is a trend change is when the market's making lower highs. So this is a downward trend, right? Downward trend, lower high. And then we come back down through here, right? So this is lower highs, downward trend. So as long as we're making lower highs all the way down, the sellers are still low on the prices. And these Dubalakis are now what? They're just now pullbacks against the overall trend. But what happens is that if we know that the highs are most important, what happens if the market breaks to the upside like this here? Now that's a potential trend change warning. And this is why it's so important to keep an eye on the weekly charts because the weekly is giving that big picture of what we could be, what, what what could be coming up real soon, right? If you remember my gold trade at the start of the year in March this year, the reason why that was so successful because the big weekly charts were giving me good trend analysis. Okay, so this is now moving up. Now the reason why this is a, this is what's called a trend change warning. And uh, in phase number two, guys, in my free course link in the description, I talk a lot about this. So if the market comes back down to here. Then we're looking for now, now we're looking for a market to make a high low and then come back up, right? Look at this here, low, 
lower high, lower high, lower high. Now look what happened. See how this is the exact same thing? So now what we wanna see for this to confirm this overall mining sector trend change shift from down to now up, what do we need? We need to see we need to see the, the short-term drop to create what? To create the higher low, right? Low, high, low. And then we want to start to see this high low coming into place and then sit and go through there. That's what we want to see for this to confirm this is now the start of an upward trend, right? Because we're not there yet. We have just gotten this point right here. This point right here is what? Just a trend change warning. For a trend change to be for for the trend change to actually happen, we need a strong higher low, and then now the big bull market starts, right? But now this is just potentially just the first thing up. We want to see something like that, and once we get something like that, now we're getting ready for a big move, right? And we're seeing this across all markets through here, like even the even you're seeing this even from uh from from you know from the GDXJ, right? Look at this here. We had this that was a high, that was a lower high. Look what happened, right? Bam, big strong move up. Now look, what do we need now? We now need a good pullback, a bit of a drop, and then a higher low to confirm that this overall here is now the start of a very big bull move, right? Because we're not there yet. This is just a trend change warning on the big picture. See what I'm talking about here, guys? See, this is the, this is the weekly chart analysis that I think is really, really, really important to understand about what's going on right now and where we're at right now. And so looking at these from, from an actual perspective, from a pullback perspective, guys, a Fibonacci level, right? That fifty percent Fibonacci level is around the around the thirty-eight to forty level on the GDXJ. Um, looking at, haha, look at that, three five five three. Um, so a a Fibonacci level from low to high on the GDX would bring that down to around about this level down here, which is also goes inside of. So you can see there's actually a lot of a lot of area where the market could actually start to reverse down to around this 32 to level. SIL or SILJ, should I say, around the $10.50 level, that's the 50% Fibonacci level there. And then also the SIL as well too, right? We see the SIL, 50% Fibonacci on the SIL is that point through there. But look what, look what I, as I said before, Trace, look at this here, right? So we had this move up, lower high, lower high and now it ran up made a higher high we want to see a bit of a short-term drop to create the higher low here and then away we go right so that's what i'm seeing through there traders what i'm seeing right now is this this drop right now uh mining stocks update um big drop today but this is good news